What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've been watching the other platforms, obviously you're aware we've partnered up with Wildfire Lifts. We decided to use them for our needs here in this shop. So today we are gonna go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see how much of it we can get set up in the shop today. Now I've seen videos on YouTube that's anywhere from seven hours to a day, maybe a day and a half, depending how much help you have. Well, I've got myself, my wife, and my granddaughter who's going to kind of help us along here. But we have other plans throughout the weekend, so we're just going to attack this piece at a time. But for now, we're going to go ahead and unbox it, get it laid out, get the instructions out, see what we got going on. And if you watched the video yesterday, I think I've got a missing box in here. So I don't know if I've lost something. I don't know, but we're going to find out in a hurry. So anyway, let me get this unstrapped. We're going to get it unboxed. We'll kind of go through what tools we need, so on and so forth. I'm not going to do any type of instructional video or any of that jazz because Wildfire has that covered. All the bases covered on that on their website, piece by piece by piece. Brad and Mike are the experts on this. They designed it. They know how to put it together. So for the love of God, do not take any advice I give. I'm just bringing my subscribers along for the ride on this. And as you know, once we hit 5,000 subscribers, we're going to give one of these away to one of you all. So to kind of give you an idea of what I'm going through or that you would go through, right? So, all right, this is Buster Radio Garage. Let's get after it. I've said it before guys, they are not a sponsor of this channel at all whatsoever. But these Vulcan automotive straps, I mean, they're amazing. We've used these things for everything and they have never let us down. They're pricey. I mean, I think this set was like 170 bucks, but I mean, good night. They, they're awesome for anything. So if you're going to get straps for a trailer you're about to buy or going to go get straps for general needs, pony up the bucks and get this. Um, Vulcan, any of you are watching this, and I'll tag you in the description. Uh, you guys do a great job over there. I mean, these straps are used for tying cars down, but I've used them for hauling lumber out of the woods. I've used them for like this. I've used them for our cars. I don't know what else, Kathy, but we've used them for everything. Get this done because we've got events coming out of our ears. We have got to get going on this stuff. And it's not like I can't fix the cars without the lift, but as you guys know, I like snack cakes. I'm fat and it's hot and I don't like rolling around on the concrete anymore. All right. So what our granddaughter, she's gonna get these straps picked up and set off to the side. And I'm gonna get out and get some snips and a razor knife. We're gonna get all this jazz cut off here. All right, guys, we got all the straps off, got those put away. Oh, good night, I'm ill. <laughs> so we're going to get all this cut off and see what we got going on here. Now, any of you have been a part of the channel more than 15 minutes, know I did not have a lift in here to begin with. So I'm just being honest with you. I'm just as new at doing this as probably most of you watching. And again, whoever wins one of these at the 5,000 sub mark, you can kind of look back at this and, you know, learn from all the mistakes I'm about to make. And a first rule of thumb for me would be don't haul the things in the rain. I mean, we hauled them in the rain, or not full rain, but it rained on us on the way back. That's not a, a bright idea by any means, but we did what we had to do, right? All right, so there's the wrap. I know a lot of people like the unboxing portion of videos. So maybe I'll slip some of that like real slow montage music in here, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Or Vanna White it for you, maybe. All right, so there's the cardboard. Now my 
understanding is, judging by, I'm sure there's instructions in here and I'll get them out, but I think they use engine hoists to move these ramps around. So we'll get to that when we need it. But mainly I want to see if there's instructions in here, which I'm sure there probably are somewhere on how to properly do this. But let's get this out, see what's in here. Okay, there is a manual in here. So let's see what we got. Boom, right on top. Now this involves reading, which I'm not very good at, but I can look at pictures better than nobody, nobody else. Check this out guys, look at this. Full instructions with color photos. I mean, they make it to where it's virtually impossible to mess this up. So, I guess we need to find step one and just go from there. So, here's the columns, how to set everything up. So that's what we're gonna do. So, I'll tell you what, we'll get this set up on a stand and we'll do the whole like sped up with fancy music stuff kind of thing for you. And then we'll stop intermittently and show you kind of like what's going on. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna try to do an instructional video. Like I said before, Mike and Brad got all that covered on their website and other builders have that covered on their videos. I'm not gonna go and be another one that does that. So again, don't listen to anything I say, follow the instruction booklet they give you. Plus they have instructional videos on their website. I'll put them in the link below wildfire lifts um so all right cool let's get after it we need to get these lifts done we got we're like we're out of time It's been about 45 minutes ish and we've got everything kind of somewhat laid out so as you know if you've watched the channel more than three minutes I'm a big table nerd I set everything out on the table go through it all that way I'm not running around the shop trying to find this bag of bolts right so I've got the hardware laid out here all the shims laid out I'm not sure what this piece of metal does yet I don't know if it's an extra support or whatever but we'll figure that out later so I've got everything kind of laid out there's the caster set up, the ramps, the pump itself. We kept that in the box so nothing happens to it. And then here's our first two pillars we're going to set up. And I'm just gonna be straight with you. I'm going 100% beside this, or 100% off this manual he sent. The color photos, I, uh, when you're talking about something like this, that where you could potentially hurt yourself or somebody else, yeah, I'm gonna play by the rules. And then here are our side supports. Wildfire lifts. Here's our next two pillars. And the girls are unpacking the ramps. And what I really like about this is how they pack this whole system up. I mean, you use every bit of it. And I believe the only two pieces we're gonna have left really are just these, uh, these outer supports. And I'll use those for something in the shop. I mean, you got all four corners. You know, you just weld a brace in and you gotta you got a welding table or something, right? So, all right guys, so I'm gonna set you back up and we're gonna get back to putting this together. There's gonna be quite a few time lapses in there just kind of show you what we're doing, piddling around in the shop or whatever. But I'll intermittently stop and kind of give you some footage on what we're doing. Cause we are not gonna be in any big super hurry and cut any corners or anything on this. Cause I do not need myself, my granddaughter and my wife hurt over cutting a corner so we're going to take our time do this the right way and uh hopefully get lind on here today and they're going to re repeat the process for homers <laughs>
right guys, it's been about two hours since we checked in with you, but we've made a heck of a lot of progress. We've got essentially the frame all put together. We got the ramps put on, I gotta move the engine hoist. This is all bolted in. But now we're getting into stretching the cables or compressing that cylinder so we can get the cables run up through the locking system here, up in and tied to the top of the post. And then we've got to work on uh, getting the hydraulics and all that put on and a bunch of other stuff. I'm like on page 12 of page 50. I don't know how many's in there to be honest with you, but you see what I'm saying. So I got a lot more to go, but this looks killer in here. So we're gonna keep plugging away. I know you guys are seeing a lot of time lapse in here with me jumping in, time lapse with me jumping in. We're probably four hours and some change into this. I think the average time is about seven hours for two people, which we're, looks like we're gonna stay pretty on par with that. So we're gonna keep plugging away. I appreciate you guys hanging in here with us. Eventually, here in the very near future, somebody's gonna have another one of these in their shop. So let's keep going. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button, hitting that subscribe button. Oh, score right off the bat. Will you hand me that Dizrizel? Rothar? Behind you. Behind you, mate. Hi. You know what? I'm just gonna try to reach you from here. <laughs> you want people to see you climb up there? No, it's just because I'm too fat to climb up there. All right guys, cool, so what we got, where we're at now is an update. So we got here, Kathy, to show you, we got all the safety linkage hooked up. So all the safety linkage is done. Uh, we're putting on the main control panel bar now. Um, yeah, so we got everything underneath hooked up. We got the cables run up to the top supports. There's actually covers that go over these pulleys, but for some reason they're not fitting right. And I think it's because there's just so much slack in the cable. So we had to skip that step for now um, until we get some weight on here and see if this straightens out. If not, I'll have to get a hold of Brad and Mike at Wildfire and see like why these are not fitting. And then also it was shipped without a snap ring for this pulley. So this pulley keeps coming off. So I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna run it by a snap ring kit to fix this, which is no big deal. I needed a snap ring kit anyway. We're gonna go ahead and install the pump, which is sitting over there in a box. Get it mounted up over here and hook up all the hydraulics that go up underneath the runways here. And then, other than that, I think, yeah, we just gotta install the stop plates and the ramps, but I'm not gonna be able to run this today because I do not have the fluid, so I'll go get it tomorrow. Then we gotta install the jack tray that goes in the middle here. Uh, we've got the drip pans and all that jazz, but they're not gonna go in there right now. So we're getting super close. Like I said, average person on the old YouTubes was saying seven hours for two people. I would say judging just for somebody who's never done it before, that is pretty accurate. Um, Cause once you get into down here, getting all these cables hooked up, when you're starting to get into like the safety stuff, you know, you take your time, so. Um, other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and get that pump installed. And I gotta go, see, in order for us to buy anything, we gotta go a half an hour away up to Maysville and buy that. So I'll have to go half an hour up the road to buy a snap ring kit so I can put a snap ring on that pulley. And then put some weight on this old girl once I get the fluid. And then we gotta figure out if those covers will fit here. And then if they don't, then yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on. Cause there's a big, here I'll show you. We got these big covers that go over the pulleys here. And when we're installing them, they're supposed to set back in here, but I can't shove them back all the way because it's catching the cable. So if I go to run this up and down, I'm gonna end up snapping this cable or tearing up the bracket. So I gotta figure out what is going on there. I figure maybe I had the cables run wrong. Like maybe the cables are supposed to go around back 
but I don't think so because over here in the photo, it shows that the cables run in front of the little pulley. That's why I've got them set up over here and it's just not jiving. So yeah, so that's where I'm at. So I gotta figure that out, get a hold of them. Maybe I've done something wrong, but I don't think I have. So, all right guys, other than that, we'll check back with you here in a little bit. We're just gonna keep packing on and get that pump put on. So we appreciate sure you hanging this, in this We're in here trying to finish this lift up and I'll touch you up on that in a minute. But good night, the second coming of Christ has come here on the farm. I mean, it is straight getting it out there. It's, let me look at this. It's literally flooding my shop, look. It is insane how much water is going in out there. I don't know where the ladder was that was on top of that car. It is gone. All right, well, if you don't see this edited, you know a tornado comes through and wipe my shop out. But anyway, so we're getting the pump installed now, getting it done, and I'm actually getting ready to run the hydraulic line through the side of the runway and up to the pump. So we're knocking around a piece at a time. Excuse the noise, it is ridiculous loud out there. That's a ton of rain. All right, cool. We're gonna go get on the arc. We'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're getting down to the final nitty gritty here. Uh, we figured out, or my wife actually figured out what we had going on here. I didn't have all the legs properly set and it was allowing these cables to push up too far. So we got three of the four of those put in. However, we still need to go up and buy a snap ring for this one that wasn't put on at the factory or whatever. Again, it's not that big a deal. I'm not making a stink out of it. I need to do something for the shop anyway. So we'll get one put on there, get that cover put on. I gotta get the hydraulic fluid for the pump. We're just doing kind of like the final finishing up fancy stuff like the jack tray, drip trays, all that jazz. And uh, we're better ready to fire this up tomorrow. We're gonna have to do some cable adjustments and testing on that, uh, which is no big deal. And then we gotta get started on one for over there. So it has been a long day. We've officially been down here seven hours. It's on air. Cool. And that lock's in there now. Set those. Made in China. like downtown all right guys it is the next day had to run up and get some snack bring uh kits because as i said yesterday we had one come up missing on this pulley so i got the snap ring went up and got our hydraulic fluid for the pump for the lift so i'm gonna get the snap ring set up for here and then we're gonna fill that up with fluid and we are gonna try to fire this old girl up and see how she does. All right guys, got that installed, so we're good there. And then what I use for those is I have an entire snap ring plier set here, if that makes sense, made by Icon. You can get these up at Hobo Freight for like, I don't know, 50 or 60 bucks. And it has every size, shape, maneuverability, whatever possible in there. So that's what I use for the snap rings and other stuff for our cars and you know everything else we have here. So, nice little plug for this tool set there. Never know, maybe I'll give one of these sets away one day. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cover put on and then fill that up with hydraulic fluid. All right guys, I'm gonna fill up this hydraulic fluid. It says to fill it up roughly one inch from this top flat straight edge. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Get this big old honking barrel up there. Oh, mercy sakes. 
without eating any of it and making a mess. Ah, that might help. Take his vent cover off. Oh, now we're cooking with Crisco. See what happens when you read instructions, which I didn't. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't pay attention to that vent. I am just making a mess. Now we're to plug this in at. All right, guys, as far as plugging this in, the plan is to run it up the ceiling and plug it in over there in this outlet for a permanent solution. Another permanent solution is also to bolt this all the way to the ground, which neither one's gonna happen today. I just wanna get this operational so I'm ready to go because I'm gonna have to get the trailer out to get Linda up here on the lift, which probably is not gonna happen today. But for now, so I've got to find an outlet to run this plug to, which I'm thinking there's one buried over here somewhere. I've just got to find it. And we'll get this thing running. So give me just a second. All right, guys. She is ready to go. Ramps are sitting over there, but I'll put them on uh, before we go to playing around with it a whole lot. Because like I said a minute ago, I got to get this mess cleaned up. I got to get the trailer out of here. Uh, get this table out of here. I got to get Linda pushed up here on the lift. I had a little bit of adjustments to make on the torsion bar that goes underneath the one runway. But that's expected because it even says in the instructions you're going to have to do some work on that. Had a little bit of a hydraulic leak because I put the hose clamp on here. Not close enough and it kind of unloosened it. Whatever. Growing pains of doing this. Like I said, you know, you're going to learn from my mistakes, right? So... She works like a champ. Up she goes. You'll hear it lock in here in just a second. All four corners at one shot. So we got everything pretty well dialed in, which is awesome. So it just goes up with this little green button and then to go down you hit i can't do it at the same time but you hit your release here you release here and down she goes so we're going to get all this cleaned up get the ramps put on uh i'm actually going to go ahead and bolt this to the floor i have no intentions of ever moving it i might slide it that way a little bit but neither here nor there and then we're going to try to get lind on here raise her up and see what my ceiling situation is. I feel we're going to be okay, but if not, we'll get the old grinder out and, zzz, 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 and make a hole in there for now. But anyway, that's a pretty long episode, but you know, I kind of figured it was going to be. Special thanks to my wife who's over there making sure I don't lose anything. But at the end of the day, we got one of the wildfire lifts in the shop, which is awesome because. We've got to get to work. We are like way behind. I've been lazy down here, so on and so forth. But anyway, you guys get in there, smash that like button, smash that subscribe icon, get up to five G's, and we're gonna give one of these away. All right, guys, pass the word, tell you all your friends, family, what have you. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.